Hey guys, welcome back to Help Tech. So I have this motherboard here that I've taken out of my computer and I want to show you how easy it is to do to put a GPU into this system. So for the purpose of this video, I do, would recommend never doing this outside your chassis. Always make sure to do this in your chassis, but I'm doing this because of how much easier it is to record. So you're going to want to make sure those clips I was just playing with are in the up position to accept the GPU. And what you guys are going to want to do is just kind of push on it and you should feel click in. Then what you guys are going to want to do is basically take the top of your GPU when it's in your computer and put the screws in it so it doesn't want to go anywhere if you decide to take the computer somewhere. I remember one time someone failed to do this in a system that I got and the whole entire uh, GPU popped out. The next thing you guys are going to want to do from this point is take the power supply cable if it's needed on the GPU and plug it in. Uh, some particular GPUs will be 6 pins, some will be 8 pins, so some particular power supply cords will give you the option to go either way. So make sure that it basically fits in snugly into your system and you might struggle a little bit, but eventually you will get it to go in. Uh, it should basically click in just like the CPU did, or sorry, the GPU did. And you want to make sure that you do have every possible power supply plugged in to the GPU or it will not work. Now, for the people that are wondering, you can use converter cables from uh, Molex or, for example, from 6-pin to 8-pin converters. But I do give you a bit of a cautionary towards that particular method. Uh, if this GPU demands more power from those cables than they can handle, you could have a fire risk on your hand. So keep that in mind when using these cables. And like that, guys, you've installed a GPU into your computer. When we come back for part two, we're going to be showing you guys on how to install the graphic drivers for this thing to work. Yeah, you have to do that too. But the fortunate part is it's very simple to do, folks. And in the next video for this series, we'll be showing you on how to do that. If you guys want to find easier access to those kind of videos, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.